We're here today to do a field update since we couldn't hold our uh, field day that we usually have. So I'm gonna... We have some plot signs that we've uh, installed. It should be in the center of your, your plots. We have some information on here which competition it is, your farm number, which block. So if you want to come to the field and look for your plots, you can uh, reference these. And then some of the soil moisture sensors have been installed and you can see a flag here um, from the company to mark the row where your soil moisture sensor is installed. So if you want to see that or check that out, we have those too. And we're anywhere from B8 to B9 um, on both systems, the corn competition for SDI and the corn competition on the pivot. As you can see in, in one of the, the interior blocks of this SDI competition, we have some arable mark sensors installed. Um, so you can access that information and we encourage you to interact with that, uh, that company and the information they're sending you. So you'll see those in the middle block of the SDI competition. In the, S, or the pivot competition on the pivot the east side of Highway 83, we have some plot signs here as well this year in these alleys in between the strips of plots. Um, they have the competition delineated on them, farm number, block number, or block letter. So if you're looking for your plots, these should help you identify them when you're out here in the field. There should be alleys in between the strips of plots and then we also have uh, some smaller alleys cut in between the plots at the front and end of each plot. So here we have uh, an alley like I was talking that's been a few plants chopped out so this should help you identify where your plots are at. There should be a pink flag and then some plants cut out in a, in a small alley to show you the beginning and end of each plot with the plot stakes in the approximate middle of the plot. And the soil moisture sensor should be installed uh, near the center of the plot as well where the plot stake is at. Um, if there's any questions, you can always get a hold of one of the TAPS team members. Um, but hopefully these things help you identify where your plots are at and how they're laid out so you can come check them out. Uh, we're looking at uh, growth stage anywhere from V8 to V9. And I want to talk about the edge of field weather stations we have. We have one here from uh, DTN and then in the background interact with those and, and use those to monitor some of the weather conditions here in the field. This is on the edge of the uh, pivot competition field. Uh, so we're here at the well at the pivot. You can see we have our reflex variable rate fertigation system from Agri-Inject that we use for the uh, fertigations over here. And we have a digital readout from our uh, micrometer flow meter to feed into that. And we're going to show the pivot. And we have our sprinklers on drops here that would go in between the corn rows and they are situated every other corn row, so five foot spacing to uh, deliver the rates the way we want them to for these uh, TAPS corn plots. Here in the sorghum uh, competition now and right now in this these plots we have our neutron tubes which is one of the ways we measure soil moisture um, here in the center of the plots. We don't have plot signs up on this competition yet, but we'll be getting those put up here within a week. So you can have the same signs as we saw on the other two corn competitions to identify your plots and where you're at in the field.